Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLeo with using windowshomeserver.com and the BYOB podcast. I cannot tell you how much I love the remote launcher from Oweco. It is an amazing add-in and is something that I think all of us can use almost on a daily basis. One of the things that you can do is you can add in your own applications. Now for me, I just drag over my core temp folder to my videos folder. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to move it around. You can see I double clicked on explore. I can go to my videos folder and there's my core temp. I can cut that and then I can paste it where it's supposed to go, which is into my program files. So there's my core temp and you can see that it's here ready to go. Now, next thing I can do is I can add an application. So I'm going to click on add and then I'm going to navigate my way to the location where I just put core temp. And there is my application. Now, whenever I want, I can double click on it and it'll start up. So you can see here now that I have for my server, my Veil server, I have core temp running. So you could literally go through and do what you need to do for any of the applications that you use on a regular basis. You can also access a viewer, control panel, but again, the most important one is the Explorer. So you can navigate around your system like we can do on version one Windows Home Server. Thank you, Oweco. Thank you, Andreas. This is a great add-in. Again, Remote Launcher by Oweco. You want another reason to use the Remote Launcher add-in from Oweco? I'll show you something really cool. So what I'm gonna do is log into my website. Now typically you can connect to any of the computers that are on your network that are connected to Veil, right? So we have my four computers that I have on my Veil side of my server. Now, one of the things that I can do now is I'm gonna to go to the dashboard and I've already installed the remote launcher add-in. Now my add-in has opened up Remote Launcher. I have my application that I just added. I can go to Explore. Now what I'll do is I'll double click on here. Now for those of you that don't know this, I'm making my connection here again through the server. You can see if I open up the network and give it a minute to refresh, you'll see exactly what's on my network currently. Now this shows any of the computers that are listed, any of the devices that are available within the network itself, not necessarily through just the connector to Windows Server codename Veil. So you can see here that I have HTPC2, that's the one that I'm on. I have my server, um, another component here I'm not gonna talk about, and then I have HTPC5. Now this one is not actually using my connector software, and I don't know if any of you know this or not, I'm sure the, the MVPs do, but if you right mouse click on here, you can actually connect with remote desktop connection. So this is a great reason to use Remote Launcher. I can actually connect to any of the PCs that are on my network that are outside not using the Veil connector. So I will click on Connect with Remote Desktop. You can also see my HP servers there. That takes a little bit longer to, to identify, but again, I can do that. And now I'm using Remote desktop connection through my remote desktop connection through my internet connection to my server. So this is a wonderful reason why you would want to use remote launcher. So now you can see that I'm now connecting from one computer to another computer to another computer all through remote launcher and Windows Server codename Veil Beta Refresh. Say that 10 times fast. Andrew Edney. Anyways, check back with using windowshomeserver.com for the latest and greatest on the connected digital home. And thank you again to Oweco for making two great add-ins, the remote launcher and the wake on LAN add-in. The Oweco remote launcher add-in for Windows Server codename Veil Beta Refresh or for Business Server Aurora allows you to manage your business server home server through your dashboard. You can run applications remotely, access system tools, 
and even add your own applications to the dashboard. The add-in is fully integrated into the dashboard and will even auto-update to make sure that it's running the latest version.